Today we will be learning about the three forms of matter, solids, liquids, and gases. In order to do so, we will be going to an interactive simulations website. Please enter the address above. First, we will talk about solids and liquids and how they can relate to each other. Please enter density simulation into the search box. Click run now. Okay. Solids are a form of matter that shapes can resist change and are generally harder because the molecules are close together. Liquids are matter that generally flow and molecules that move around freely. This website shows us how solids and liquids can be related. The relationships can be seen using these using the properties of this website. For example, when you click same mass, you can play with the blocks to see how mass relates to solids and liquids. When putting a solid in a liquid, mass doesn't matter because the mass does not determine if the object floats or if it does not float. When you click to experiment with the volume, the blocks will show you the different volume levels you can make when you add the boxes. So when putting a solid in a liquid, the volume increases. When looking at the density, you can determine if a solid floats or not. So no matter how much the mass of the object or the volume of the water, the density determines whether or not the object floats. Now that we have looked at solids and liquids, we will go look at gases. So go back to the main page of the interactive simulation website and click the gases simulation. Go to gas, the gas property simulation and then click run now. While waiting for this to load, I will tell you what a gas is. A gas is an air-like fluid substance that expands to fill a container or disperses through the air. While playing with this simulation, you see the gases and its different properties. You can determine how the molecules will move when you add or remove heat. So for example, when you add heat, the molecules will begin to move faster. If you notice when the molecules start to move faster, the pressure increases. And when you add cold, the molecules start to slow down and the pressure decreases. So the higher the temperature, the faster the molecules move. Also, when you go to the right of the screen, when you add gravity, the heat and the pressure start to rise. These two different simulations show us about solids, liquids, and gases, and they also show us about the properties 
and how they relate to each other. So overall, they show that the more pressure, the greater the temperature, and the higher the temperature, the faster the molecules move. Thank you for watching my lesson, and feel free to come back to these websites in order to learn more about the different forms of matter.